Hello, my name is Rochelle DeMeo, and I would like to talk to you about learning styles. In this presentation, you will find out what are learning styles. You will learn the different type of learners that exist and various strategies to help these types of learners best learn and retain information. So you will be able to self-teach yourself or self-learn as well as find out your own learning style. So first of all, it's important to know that anybody can really know and learn a lot of information for not only academic success, but also for work. And, um, you know, every student is going to have a preference when it comes to not just their learning environment, but how they learn best and the atmosphere that they learn best. So, what are learning styles? There exist four different types of learners visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and tactile. Many people believe there's only three, the visual, auditory, and kinesthetic, but I actually include a fourth one, tactile, that is similar to a kinesthetic learner, but it is also known as a um, combination learner. And we're going to go through each of these. First of all, the auditory learner. The auditory learner can easily remember songs, words and songs. Maybe you hear a song for the very first time and you can remember the um, different words in the song. Or if you're playing an instrument, maybe you can play it back just by listening to the notes. You can um, play it over again. Um, and a lot of auditory learners actually enjoy lectures and audio tapes, CDs, etc. as their form of instruction. If you are a if you're a learner of um, as an auditory learner, what works best for you is having a buddy in which you can exchange verbal um, communication with. So somebody that you can talk to and just repeat what was said um, and learn from that. Repeating information is essential. Listening to um, music uh, or even if it's lectures is very important as well. Being able to tape record. There are various programs that exist to do that. And then sometimes it's just restating a, pro a problem in our own word and repeating the information. So for students that are trying to prepare for a test or are simply trying to retain information, being able to say it out loud, repeat it, listen to it, that is what works best for them to learn and retain information for the long run. Visual learners are the second type of learning style. And I recognize these easily because they will walk in the classroom and immediately look at the board and see if there's something on the projector and they'll really pay attention to what is written. They'll take often a lot of notes and taking notes is very good for them and it's essential for them to learn that way. Um, when I, you think of uh, visual learners, they often like colors as well because they do like to visualize the information. What works what really well for them is using highlighters or pens, um, contrasting with different colors in terms of um, taking notes, even if they take notes in abbreviation. Sometimes visual learners feel overwhelmed by hearing a lot of lecture and feeling like they cannot keep up with all the notes. So abbreviating them can be very useful for them. Making flashcards or just watching flashcards is very um, good as well and pictures or diagrams can be very useful. Kinesthetic learners are pretty much the hands-on, so they like lab demonstrations and experiments, and they really learn best by doing or by practicing. I like to think of learners as um, people that drive, and when you think of driving somewhere, you can often figure out what kind of learner you are. Auditory learners will learn best when driving just by listening to the GPS or listening to directions being said to them. The visual learners will really need to see the directions written down or, you know, written somewhere. And the kinesthetic learners actually have to drive there to remember how to get there a second time. What works best for kinesthetic learners is to take notes during lectures, just as the visual learners, that is also um, important. And maybe, you know, they can study and walk back and forth, rereading the class notes, making symbols, and, um, you know, sometimes it's just doing several things at once. But also one thing I find very effective for kinesthetic learners, learners is finding a way that is practical for them to learn. So what is a 
daily situation or a way that they can practice the situation to remember what they're trying to learn. So maybe acting it out with a classmate could be a good idea or finding a way to apply it to daily life. Finally, the last type of learner is the tactile learner. As I mentioned, they are also known as kinesthetic learners and they are similar to, um, or sorry, they're also known as combination learners and they're similar to kinesthetic learners. They have a lot of similarities. They are really what I call my, um, they like hands-on activities and physical activities, but they learn a lot, they're drawn by their senses. And so what I see with um, tactile learners, they're also known as combination learners, is that they will be auditory, visual, and kinesthetic, but they won't feel like they fit in one. They'll, fit, they'll feel like they're maybe 50-50, like they're auditory and they're kinesthetic, and they feel like they're 50-50 and they can't really figure out a box in which they fit in. What works for them is um, one thing that I've noticed a lot is videos. So even short educational videos really, really aims a lot for um, tactile or slash combination learners more than any type of learner. And finding activities where they can do several things at once and stimulate different senses to learn. So as I mentioned, you know, auditory learners, they really remember information by hearing it and by saying it. Visual learners remember information by seeing it and by writing it down. Kinesthetic learners really need hands-on activities where they can practice and retain the information that way. And tactile learners often like to do several things at once, find areas that stimulate their senses in order to learn. Most of us are several in a different order, but you know, as I mentioned, the combination or tactile learners really feel like they're 50-50 and they're not more one than another. A way to self-teach or to self-learn is, first thing I encourage my students to do is just 10 minutes at night, review the information that was taught in the classroom or the information that you're trying to memorize right before going to bed. Because subconsciously while you're sleeping, you're reviewing the information and you're really teaching it to yourself. It's important to know what kind of learner you are to know how you can best learn and how you can best retain this information by doing the things that apply to the type of learner that you are. To find out what type of learner you are, you can take a quiz. A free one online is at the website about.com. If you look in the search engine at the top, you'll notice that it just says you can type in free learning style quiz and that will and it'll pop up and you can take the uh, quiz. You can also click on this link if you'd like to take it. Another way that you can know is just asking yourself the following questions. Do you enjoy hearing things said? If so, you would be an auditory learner. Do you need to visualize the information? Maybe somebody is telling you something you need to actually write it down. So are you might then you'd be a visual learner. Do you enjoy hands-on activities, things that you really need to do? You would be a kinesthetic learner. And you prefer doing several things at once, or do you feel like you don't fit in any of those categories? Then you would be a tactile or combination learner. I hope this presentation was useful and that you learned a lot from learning styles and I will talk to you soon.